Hello, buddy. How's it going? And welcome back to the All Right Podcast. Remember, it's not the best podcast. It's not the worst podcast. It's the All Right Podcast. Nice. <laughs> Very Lovely. nice. Right. So, as you can see, this week we have a guest. It is a fan favourite. Um, as we can say, she's a constant listener. Um, we have mentioned her many times in the podcast. It's Sarah. Hello. Hello. How do you do? How do you do? <laughs> so, um... Yeah, I so very privileged to be on the podcast. Hmm. With wow. AJ sitting comfortably. <laughs> yeah, <are you> sitting <laughs> kind of. <laughs> yes. Trying to. Oh, right, no, so um, I have my hot chocolate. You didn't take your sticker off. You have your hot chocolate, you have we your hot chocolate. Hot but chocolates. as you can see from the thumbnail and the title, today it's tea versus coffee. Now, yes. I'm a tea man myself, so I'm going to go for tea and you or coffee. But we said, you know what? Sarah wants to tag along and we put Sarah <laughs> in it. So it's two against one. It's a handicap match. That's what it's called. That's what it's called. It? Okay. Yeah, it is. It's in wrestling. Look it up. Okay. Um, so basically, um, I'm going to be defending for my life against these two people. Da. Now, I know there's a lot of experience from someone that drinks coffee, like a lot, and you're only new to coffee. Mm-hmm. I kind of, what's it called? Um, I can't think of the word. It's okay. Uh, it's just a, a podcast. Ago, it's okay. Um, I converted her. Converted yes. Coffee. Her. Yeah, she did. Yes. Mm-hmm. Right. But we both enjoy tea as well. We all do. You enjoy Different tea, Different right? types of tea. Yeah, but mm. you just have, have to fight for coffee. Yes. Yeah, so, at the that. end of this one... Mm. Sorry. <laughs> at the end of every episode, um, we put up uh, about 24 hours in advance, so almost 24 hours. We put up on the stories uh, on our Instagram. You'll see all the writing there for the three of us there if you want to go follow us. Um, and we ask the public to vote on what you think is better. So it's which do you prefer, uh, public. So mm. it's down to the public. We just give our opinions yeah. and mm-hmm. so on the likes that. So um, sorry for we the audio to, listeners. We'll need to keep score now. So who won last week? I won last week. Yeah. Yeah. So I won last week. So we'll see who wins. Yeah. Let me, let me write. I'm going to say this because I know tea is a favourite, but I know coffee's very popular mm. as well. That would be a tough so call. That now. is a tough call. So. Yeah. I'm going to put on the line if you win you get two points that's fair I was just about and to say and if I win I only get one point yeah because mm. yeah. Yeah. I think I'm the only one here that drinks like all kind of teas and mm. coffee and hot chocolate and everything yeah. you just drink hot chocolate and normal tea yes yeah. Nicola drinks peppermint, peppermint tea and, tea and, and some herbal teas I don't drink well, what's it even called black tea is that what it's called yeah. like normal like black. Irish tea yeah. yeah like I drink tea it has to be lion's tea um, and coffee and herbal mm. teas I love peppermint tea you're Lions as well, aren't you? I'm Lions to yeah. UFC. <laughs> so anyway, so, yeah. I'm so in the middle. I the reason why I picked um, tea is because tea is real Irish. Mm. Coffee is American. Well, tea is actually English yeah. and British, but it's known to be an Irish thing. Here, Susan uh, Martin just died. Come in, we put on the kettle. And we have a cup of tea. Cup of tea. Martin just got out of prison. Put on the cup of tea. Martin's been true. Martin, <laughs> she has three sons named Martin, and the third Martin, Dude, he, yeah. he, he just graduated and he's going off to college now. He's going to Manute to be a fucking, you know, what I mean, scientist. And he's going to say, Well done, we should celebrate with a few biscuits and a cup of tea. You never hear Martin getting celebrated over a bit of coffee unless they're from D4 or they're, you know, like, so that's so. Nice little cappuccino or an espresso. Oh, yeah. No, it's a real. Well, it's much more tea. fancier than yeah. a cup of tea. Like, you have a cup of tea every day. Yeah. A coffee is a treat. A coffee's a treat. Look yes. what I use to drink it. Not really. We I don't drink it every day. No. Like we're not like James. James relies yeah. on coffee to mm. be. He needs a the caffeine. Functioning human being. I feel like that's a, an addiction. Coffee. Oh, it, it is. is. So is tea, though. But I could well get off tea quicker than I could off coffee because coffee's well, harder to get off. Not really. But I know for a fact I could do that, and I never even tried it. No, I. I, I, I seen the way you mm. are without coffee. But I've seen the way James is without mm. coffee. Yeah. Mm. He, you can't be around him. And no. you're starting yeah. to do that. I'm not starting to do that. I just use coffee to w- help wake me up mm. during the middle of the day. I don't need it first thing you, in the morning. Yeah. yeah. I only need it during, like, say, 11, 12 o'clock. Hmm. To kind normally, of give me a boost. Yeah. Mm. Normally, like, I don't drink coffee every day. But now that I've started a new job and getting up half six in the morning, now I'm starting to need coffee, like, in the mm. morning. But it's mm. not that I need it. It's just... It, it helps. Yeah, it helps me to be less tired, and because in my job I'm waxing and doing nails, and that can be dangerous if you do it wrong. Yeah, like you have to make sure the temperature is right and everything. And if you're tired, it can be dangerous. Mm. Right, and you're working so close to people's eyes, doing their eyebrows, mm. and 
you just don't want to mess up. So coffee, I don't need it. Like yesterday morning going into work, I didn't have a first thing. I had it around 11 o'clock and that was just because I wanted coffee. Yeah. But most of the time I won't drink it every day. Why? I wasn't going to have coffee today, but Nicola surprised me and she brought mm-hmm. me coffee. And there's actually a lot of health benefits to coffee yeah. as Go well. Go on, example. Well, it's known to um, reduce your chance of type 2 diabetes, I think it is. Does it say that? And cholesterol, yes. Mm-hmm. And it, um, it also helps... I don't know how, but it helps you. Hold on, you <laughs> trying to tell us something you don't have facts to back it up? No, it does. It, it like obviously, as Sarah said, it makes mm. you more alert, gives you a boost of energy. Well, makes I know there's a list. I I looked at it before, but see, I, I can't look up anything. But you I have more to look up. For up. Both, okay. okay. Oh, grand, grand. There we go. I strongly believe if if you were sick, yeah, if you were sick. What would you rather drink? A nice cup of tea or horrible green, horrible green tea or whatever mm. tea. There's so many options of tea. Yeah. And I'm just a lion's man myself now. Have you ever and tried any herbal tea? I haven't. And do you know why? Because I don't need to change. you know why? Because it's perfection. What if you liked one of them more? I don't need to. It's perfection. Um, Anthony, you have... I wouldn't say a bad memory, but you don't have a great memory. You're I'm okay, forgetful. I'll get by. Yeah. Coffee yeah. increases your memory. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, there's one of these things I have to click next every time. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it prevents depression. Okay. So Good luck. Good Especially for people that suffer with mm. mental health issues. Okay. Let's go to the next one. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. Say the first one again. What does the first one do? Increases memory. Increases memory. Okay. <laughs> That's a good one to forget. Yeah. I might need some coffee. No. Um, I could on. imagine you, like, you, when you drink, you used to drink fizzy drinks and you'd get very hyper mm. and that'd give you a real boost. So imagine oh, if God. you had coffee. Right? No. You would be literally like the little hyper squirrel in over the fence when he gets all the, the Pringles or whatever and he's hyper. Yeah. You would be like that. Or on you know, the, I'm the little to boy squirrel. in the wild thornberries where he's like, ah, but, yeah, but, yeah. oh, thanks. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm reference to a jungle man and a squirrel. Uh, a squirrel. Lovely. Uh, great compliment. It the coffee second. revs up your metabolism. Okay. So that's probably how it helps you to lose weight because mm. if if you're drinking coffee, your metabolism metabolism, metabolism is kicking in faster, so you're less likely can you to sing? on the Can weight. you rap rap god? <laughs> yeah, I can. Salmonella. Salmonella. What did I say? I went salmonella. Just take that loop, that and put that on the loop. I am not doing that. It's too much editing. It lowers the risk of diabetes. Mm. Okay. Okay. So, compared to the benefits of tea, what would what do you what do you think you feel like after you? Well, there was a big tea? one there, and you said it, it, it decreases depression. Mm. Mm. If you're having a bad day, mm. tea will lift your spirits up. Tea also has caffeine in it too. Tea is caffeine, in, yeah. of course, but it lifts your spirit. If you come home from a rainy day in Ireland, mm. are you going to drink coffee or do you want some nice tea with some biscuits? Can you put biscuits in coffee? You can. You can yeah. have biscuits on the side. Biscoff what? biscuits but you're are made te- for but coffee. You're te- but you're telling me you wouldn't like a good digestive... Or a, good, and or, a, really or, nice. or a good bourbon biscuit. They no. all match perfectly yeah. with coffee. Not, not when it comes to tea. Mm. I'd say uh, tea. Do you dip your biscuits in tea? We as a society don't deserve tea. Are you a dipper? I am a dipper. Are you? What are you? You don't usually dip. Well, I'll tell you one. T- <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. I'm on the occasion of dipping every now and again. And what, what would be your ideal biscuit? One, dipper? two, mum. Mum. But if you get if you mom. double dip, then it's likely to break and fall no, into no, your no, teeth. No, no. Yeah. What you do the long thing, a pause it. And oh yeah, I would do a I long one. Now it, yeah. it gets very soggy, and yes, by the time but, you eat the biscuit, it it's, 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 it's it like breaks. wet pastry at that stage. Now. Did you ever dip it your biscuit in and on it falls the biscuit. in? Mm. Some biscuits you have to do the little dip, dip. Some of them you have to fold it in. <laughs> Got a little, 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 little. <laughs> <laughs> some of them you have to like hold them in because they're harder biscuits you need to make them softer to eat them and some biscuits they're just not made for dipping That's like true. digestives you can't fit it in the cup properly have you ever yeah. tried to put a hobnob biscuit they're too crumbly. They're absolutely. I tried yeah. to put one absolutely into my terrible. cauldron cup. I've got a little cauldron <laughs> mug, and the the lid or the top of the mug is too small for most biscuits. Oh. And it was like it did not hit the tea at all. Do you put a full biscuit biscuit in, or do you kind of break it off and do? Oh it no, you have to do it full if it fits. Yeah. Like a bourbon biscuit would be the ideal shape because yeah. it's a rectangle. Like just it's 
in yeah. there. Or an Oreo, because they're smaller. An but Oreo? An Oreo only in milk, though. Yeah. What's your ideal biscuit? What, if you could pick your top three biscuits. I know this isn't a biscuit episode, but... <laughs> cup of tea. Cup it. of tea. For right? a cup of tea. A normal cup of tea. And mine would be chocolate digestive, a bourbon biscuit, and a rich tea biscuit. What would be yours? I don't know. I'm trying to think of three. Um... Biscoff biscuits one, but mm. I kind of I went off them for a while because I had them too much. <laughs> That's understandable. But those and then Tesco do an, their own brand of they're like hobnobs, yeah. but they're chocolate um, covered yeah. OG yeah. biscuits. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're yeah, yeah, so nice. Yeah. yeah. And then Finally. Joe the all butter biscuits, the ones that have the chocolate on the top and they're in the, the rectangle box, and you mm. can eat the chocolate from around the sides. Yeah. Those. Mm. 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 Fig rolls are lovely. Oh, this isn't a this is in tea. Oh, they go soggy in tea if you hold them for too long. Oh, no. A little tiny, like really quick. Then I don't of, think that. I think we're getting off subject. Fruit. I'm yeah. talking about biscuits now. What biscuits? Yeah. yeah are. Okay. So right. tea. So yeah. I, what, as, what about iced tea? Iced Do you drink tea. I've never iced had tea. iced tea. I'm I'm just a simple man that likes simple things. But you haven't mm. even explored the whole tea range, so how can you be... Iced tea is very popular. It is. Um, herbal tea is very popular. Mm. Yes. Um, and the likes of that. And in companies such as Starbucks or Costa or whatever, uh, even coffee little shops, tea is... Coffee is a, a get and go kind of thing. Tea is where you have to sit down, you can relax, you can chill. You can you can have a chat. I suppose yeah, you're more likely to grab a coffee and go because like you're on the move or you need it during the day, so mm. you just take it and mm. go and drink it. But that also depends on the person. Like for me, if mm. I have hot coffee, it makes me sleepy. Right. Mm. Unless it's really strong coffee, then like the one that I get in work, it, we have the Nespresso machine, so it's strong coffee. Yeah. And because I drink it so quick, because it's only a tiny bit of coffee shot. and tiny mm. bit of milk in it, and that will kind of wake me up. Yeah. But other than that, hot coffee makes me sleepy. Mm. Yeah. And iced coffee, like two of you know, whenever I have an iced coffee when we we're filming a, and stuff, I am like a, a, jumping around the place. I'm yeah. really hyper and wake me up. One. Yeah, I, I be like that. I don't really like mm. hot coffees. I had one yesterday. I made one myself just to see because it was so cold. Mm. And I didn't like it. I don't like hot coffees. I don't know. They just you like they don't the, taste the same. The latte that like I got to tea? taste that you like. Yeah. Do you like a hot tea? It? Yeah, a hot herbal tea. Exactly. It warms no, but, but you up, and cold, it's getting into winter no, but now. Cold ice it's getting coffee into winter. Is so it's refreshing. Mm. It also like there's loads of flavors you can get, but it also gives you that boost. Like literally within 20, 30 minutes after drinking it, you can feel the energy and the buzz. Mm. I. I don't like like what that does to you. Why? Because before you start drinking coffee, I said, you need to watch out, don't drink as lot because you're going to start depending on it. And he goes, I won't. You depend on that now to I do don't certain depend things. On it. I don't drink it every day. I might have a coffee maybe two or three times a week. Mm -hmm. That's it. Sorry? Yeah. And I it's don't, usually the weekends yeah. when you're with Anthony. Or if I'm really tired during the day, I'd have one. But it's not every day. But you could use that the same way you used to be dependent on fizzy drinks. Mm. Coffee is a lot better for you than fizzy drinks. Oh yes, of course. Of course. Mm. So what's the point? No, I was just saying, like... There has to be a point. Would you what rather somebody drinking loads and loads of fizzy drinks or just having coffee every now and then? I'd rather them have coffee than fizzy drinks. Exactly. Mm. But I'd rather have tea than coffee. And this is the discussion today now, people. Mm. Right, I, the last few before I look up the tea. tea. Coffee may lower your risk of Parkinson's. It protects your liver. Oh. Can fight depression. This is another um, one I've looked up. Uh, may lower risk of certain types of cancer. Oh. So liver and cholesterol. Ca cholesterol does well. Co yeah. Colorectal cancer. I don't know. Colon, cholera Col yeah, colon yeah. cancer, I think yeah, it is. Yeah. They're forty percent lower risk of liver cancer for coffee drinkers. That's mad. And fifteen percent for colon cancer. A lot uh, of and it benefits. doesn't cause heart disease and may lower stroke risk. No. No. It may help you live longer. Okay, so there is good benefits mm. to coffee. Now I look up tea. Okay. So how? Right. How often do you think a cup of coffee is sold versus a cup of tea in the world? Mm. 
I would say nowadays coffee, coffee is sold much more than tea. More tea is a house thing. Yeah. Like nobody yeah. goes. How many people own a house? Or or if you go for a meal in a restaurant and you get tea or coffee after. Yeah. yeah. You could do that kind of thing. But or you might go out mm. to a cafe. But yeah, I suppose tea is mostly for mm. at home. Nobody yeah. really says to someone like whether it be friends or someone you're starting to date or whatever. No one says, "Oh, let's go for a tea date." It's always, "Let's go for a coffee date." Yeah. Yeah. Tea go is, grab a coffee. Mm, mm. Let's but go grab a coffee. Here's let's another go. thing. Tea, tea parties. Tea party. Have Real you ever had a tea party ones. when you were a child? Real ones or fake ones? Mm. Fake ones. Oh yeah, fake ones, yeah. yeah. You had your teddies, you yeah. put it around. You have your little you have tea your, cups. You sip it. Now, I've well, never done it now myself, but I've you've seen never had a sisters. Tea party. I've never actually had a tea party. We're and I've seen change sisters change of brr- mm. Not now. <laughs> um, <laughs> they were saying we should go for afternoon tea. Yeah. They look delightful. And you, you yeah. Thought, yeah. The little but afternoon, afternoon tea, tea usually yeah. involves some Prosecco. <laughs> Okay. We'll have, to, we'll have to get the bus there if me and Nicola want to partake in the mm. Prosecco. Or an Irish coffee. Mm. Okay, so there's lots. So what's the health benefits to tea? I should look up my research before we you know. should. Yeah. <laughs> we should really do that. Mm. But this is for the Spotify listeners now as well, mm. so the, there will be yeah. some pause and then a but don't yeah. worry. Tea contains antioxidants. Mm-hmm. Has less caffeine in the coffee, but it still contains caffeine. Okay. okay. So it gives you a little bit of a boost. Mm-hmm. Mm. Do you feel that after you drink tea? No, I feel relaxed. I yeah. feel like See, I'm tea warm. has slow release caffeine. Yeah. And coffee has more of a quick release. Yeah. It's like caffeine. an energy drink. Yeah. Tea may reduce your risk of heart attack and stroke. So similar. Similar to benefits. Similar, yeah. similar. That could be to do with the caffeine. Tea maybe. may help with weight loss, but it depends on the type of tea okay and probably if you put sugar in your tea mm. do you take sugar in your tea uh, not anymore i'm i'm too sweet no i'm too no. sweet since when did you change i stopped taking sugar because um of my toot mm. i thought you still drank it with sugar is it getting worse yeah it looks is it like getting it worse is. there mm. yeah don't worry the dentist will fill out um, but Too I've stopped doing it since then. Mm-hmm. I have a hole right there, and literally right there, you can see it. Um, Zoom in on that. <laughs> how plays don't. Um, but Take a quick picture. <laughs> no, no. Um, but it's in my smile line, mm. and I've, I I really like my teeth. I like. Yeah. I don't even know how to smile. I like when I'm talking to people, and that would be very insecure. Mm. Yeah. So that's because I drank fizzy drinks for literally, literally since I've a kid. For 25 to years now. of your life. Yeah, 25 Crazy. years. So mm. for next 25 years, I need to take as much away. Mm. So I didn't put any sugar in this. I didn't do that. And this is hot chocolate, by the way. I love hot chocolate. If you mm. give me a chalk chocolate, debate. A chalk chocolate. Chalk chocolate. Chalk chocolate. <laughs> um, you want to get a chalk chocolate? What other little yolks is there? A about lot it? of word fuck ups. Today. Yeah. Tea may help protect your bones. My bones. Maybe that's because you have milk in your tea. But that's green tea may prevent oh. bone loss. So, oh. Like nice. bone density. Lovely. So much benefits. Mm. There is in such a small cup. Tea may keep your bright your bright smile. Your smile bright. <laughs> tea. I thought tea would have but stained your tea. Tea stains it depends yellow. because normal tea like stains. Mm. Like but black tea. Yeah. Japanese coffee. researchers have found that tea can decrease tooth loss. It changes the pH in your mouth when you drink it and that may be what prevents cavities. Oh. Beyond that, tea, unlike many other be- beverages, does not appear to erode teeth en- enamel. So it so stains your no teeth sugar in it. Mm. depending on the type of tea. Mm. So I think what they're talking about is green tea and herbal teas yeah. and stuff. Because normal tea, it does stain the same yeah. way as coffee. Mm. Yeah. Tea may boost the immune system. I need my immune system boost. May help you need ba- to take some battle cancer. Tea. What? Battle that cancer. You can help battle cancer? Because mm-hmm. you're relaxed. You're not under stress but when you're drinking tea. helps mm. to prevent cancer. Mm. Herbal tea may soothe the digestive system. Yeah. No, I so need my digestive like, system smoothed. Mm. There is specific teas called like tummy tea yeah. or digestive teas yeah. um, but there, there's, there's also immunity booster yeah. teas as well and there's, but there's also a lot of tea. teas that aren't good for you like the, there is some that are good for you called tummy teas but others there is some that are supposed to be weight loss teas or whatever yeah. and they they, they just do more harm, do more than, harm good. than good because yeah. they're promoting 
not eating and just drinking that tea yeah. and maybe just having smoothies and stuff not yeah, having that's solid like a liquid food diet. Yeah. that's and bad that's bad food. especially yeah. for younger people especially younger girls like yeah. it's very impressionable yeah. impressionable and yeah. if someone's selling mm. the likes of that type of tea and it's disgraceful yeah, yeah. I remember that great. was a big thing back up years ago and is that it? Tea unadulterated that is ca- is calorie free. Oh. The way they type this is very strange. Very strange. <laughs> yeah. very strange yeah. I want to share yeah, a little yeah. story. Yeah. A member of my family went over to the doctor and they felt really like so heavy in the stomach, like in the stomach area. Mm. So, and he goes, some, Your checkup's fine and so on. He goes, uh, Can I ask you a question, doctor? He goes, Yeah. He goes, I drink a lot of tea. He goes, yeah, how much do you drink? Or he goes, do you drink a lot of tea? The doctor says, he goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, he turns around and he goes, how much? And he goes, probably a few cups of tea a day. He goes, well, watch. Because if you drink a lot of tea every day, you can actually fill up your insides. And you can drown it. Oh. From the inside. That's what the doctor said to one of the family members. Mm. If you drink a lot of water, your water fill, fills up and you can drown it from the inside. That's what they say. I don't know about that now. It's, now, come here, that's what the they say. Consumption of liquids, because you're only supposed to have, like, you're supposed to have eight cups of water a day. No one really drinks that much. No. But. I definitely drink more than that. Mm. Well, majority but, of people don't. That's well, the recommended yeah. amount of water yes. to mm. drink. But I think it's something like th- two or three litres of water or any mm. liquid that can drown you from the inside. Because. Yes. Because you look that through up for- your insides, like all your intestines and organs and everything, and your stomach, like yeah. they all need to have an, a flow of oxygen to them as well. Right. And if they're full up of liquids, oxygen can't get through them. Mm-hmm. Sarah, could you look that up for us, please? The fact saying can can too much liquid uh, can you drown from too much liquid in the inside? People are probably pissing themselves off right also, now. Like, but okay, we'll yeah, see. they say the recommended amount of water is two liters a day. But, but tea, water. So if you drank five, if you drank five hundred mils of tea, that wouldn't equate to your two liters. You'd still need to drink two liters. That. We have facts over here now. In severe co- cases, water intoxication can cause seizures, brain damage, a coma, and even death. Bottom line: drinking too much water can increase the pressure inside the skull. Did not. Neither did I. No. I remember when I was in college, I overheard this guy. He was talking to his friends, and no joke, right? He said to his friends, "I drink twelve liters of water every day." Tell him to stop lying. No. There's a lot of bullshitters out there. There is, but this guy was walking around with two two liters of bottle of water, and he was saying to him, "This is like my my third bottle of the day or something." And He's he a was liar. like, "I I drink twelve every day." No, I don't believe that now. Mm. He probably oh. thinks the small bottles are like a liter, <laughs> maybe. But, but right, so we're on twenty three minutes now. So do you want to look at the polls? Right, so we're going to look at the polls. So you, final call. What so girls think? use a coffee and I am tea. I think coffee will win. Okay. Mm. But I'm trying to think of your audience that you have on Instagram and I don't know mm. what would they Before think. Before I do this, symptoms of water intoxication tend to start appearing after you cons- consume more than three to four litres in a few hours. Oh, yeah. in a few hours, not yeah. over yeah. the day. Yeah, see, yeah. So I'd okay. say it's probably something it's, like... Yeah. See, I drink around a litre to a litre and a half yeah. a day if that's lucky. I don't go to the two litres. That's say like if you drank six litres in two hours, that would be... Extreme. That's madness. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, which do you prefer? We asked the public, you guys, um, tea or coffee. So before you click it, mm-hmm. what do you think is going to be? I difference? personally think tea. Think I'm gonna have to go tea. No, but like percentages. Oh, roughly. Right. Um, I'm gonna. Say, it's gonna be close. I think sixty forty to coffee. Sixty mm. forty. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna say seventy forty for tea. What do you say, Sarah? I was gonna say sixty five. Oh, you're in the middle. Oh, she's down in the middle. In the middle. Right, so let's go. You what ready? Do we do? Okay. Drum roll, please. Right. So there. Oh. oh. Right. So the percentage of it, we're just gonna. Oh. You were right. Sixty-seven percent to, <laughs> to coffee. Tea. To coffee. That's what I'm saying. Sixty-seven percent coffee. Forty-three percent tea. tea. Now no. we have twelve. Oh. So we have eighteen people voting. 
Uh, 12 votes for coffee and 6 for tea. Yes, mm. so we... So, so 6... So you might as well say that's like... like so more people mm. voted coffee. Mm -hmm. Sarah voted. That should You're not, not allowed that, to vote. That shouldn't be a vote. <laughs> I didn't know that. No. You voted as well. Oh, did you? I, yeah. I, I typed coffee. Wait, what if I if I if I typed coffee, you probably clicked it by accident. If I typed coffee, does that mean that's it's, how? It, no, it won by a big majority. It still won. It yeah, won it twelve to six, so it won by half or more. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. So um, there you go. I um, wasn't told I wasn't allowed to vote. So <laughs> I didn't know. So that's that's what it is. Um, T one. So you're actually two coffee one. one. Sorry, coffee one. <laughs> so that's two one the scoreboard like because it's coffee. Yeah, yeah. no, I'm all right. Um, but that's I'd love to see you drink yeah. coffee. We should no. give you a little shot of espresso. Yeah. No. Please let us know up. down in the comments It'd below be what topics you want if us to If we get two you. likes, we will get Anthony to drink coffee. No, two <laughs> likes? Oh my god, no. Let us know in the, in the comments if you like this whole thing with three of us. Yeah. Oh. Me, me How do you too. find the three-way debate? <laughs> three-way mm -hmm. debate? Next and way. Maybe doesn't... one of the week, weeks, I'd love to see you two go head-to-head -head at a topic and I'm not being in it if I'm in work or something. Mm -hmm. or, and you know, you're free and you're free and two years ago there and you do this. Yeah, I'd love to see that. You could, could yeah. So, so even like once a month, me popping in and yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, why not? Why yeah. not? Yeah. Right, so. That'd be fun. Okay, so, um, right, so. We'll we'll look forward to that anyway. We'll do that. So guys, thanks so much. Thanks so much for what? watching on Spotify um, and listening, on listening Spotify. on Spotify, <laughs> listening oh and watching on YouTube. <laughs> um, as you notice, the microphone is not here. If you notice from the last episode, you can hear a buzzing noise in it. Um, and Maybe it's not. the microphone. I think the microphone is broke. It is. Um, it's done it twice now on the two podcasts. So we're just going to be using this now until we get another mic or something like that as well. Um, yeah, uh, Sarah came on. She'll be on a lot more. Um, and yeah, right. So there you go. Um, Anything else to say? No. I'm just, I'm just a loser. You're just. Yeah. Um, no. So I, that's two points now for two us one and one for you. Yeah. So you, you're two one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. There you go. I'm on okay. a good streak. You're on, you're on a good streak. Your first <laughs> win was two points. Yeah. Um, okay. So, guys, remember, uh, tune in next week. Uh, Spotify goes up at 9 o'clock in the morning on Mondays. And on Thursdays at 6 p.m. is the YouTube. Mm. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, it's not the best podcast. It's not the worst podcast. It's the all right podcast. There you go, guys. Thanks very much for watching and listening. And we'll chat to you again next week. Send Bye. in your recommendations for the debates. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.